Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm doing something a little bit different right now. Uh, I am going to do a thing where I take a sample, a blind sample. I don't know what's in here. I don't have a clue what this whiskey is. It was sent to me by a Patreon supporter, and uh, hopefully we can make a little bit of a tradition of this. But I like when people send me full bottles. It's really cool to be able to know what you know one of their favorite whiskeys is and to try it out on, on the uh, channel, review it, etc. That's really special to me. But this is also kind of cool, the idea where somebody has something that they really love on their shelf, and they put it in a sample vial for me. Now, the key to this sample is uh, with my wife. Okay, so I don't have a clue what this even potentially could be. So I'm going to drink it blind, take some notes on it, uh, make some guesses maybe about what kind of whiskey. Is this a rye? Is this a bourbon? Is this a blend? Is this a scotch? You know, what might this be? And um, then I'll reveal what it is and kind of give it a rating. You know what I mean? So this isn't something that's unique to me either. Um, there's a... Another whiskey YouTuber named ADHD Whiskey, Matt. And uh, he does this on Wednesdays where he does what he calls One Ounce Wednesdays where he's got a ton of samples that people have sent in and he, he basically does the same thing. So if this is, I thought that might be fun. So if this is something that maybe you want to try, if you want to get a, uh, you know, some vials, put a sample in it and send it to me, you may do that. I'm going to make that an option for Patreon supporters. So if you're in the Patreon group, you can always DM me and say, hey, TV or Ryan, rather. <laughs> Hey Ryan, sorry, it's my that's what I go by on my other channel. But anyways, uh, hey Ryan, I want to send you a sample of something that I love. Uh, I'll give you an address to ship it to, and uh, your sample will show up on one of these episodes. So here we go. Matt Warren does a great job with these. So he sent me samples before, and he plastic seal everything. The works. Okay. Here we go. First and foremost, there's the color on it. It's a little. Well, I'll pour it first. Uh, it's honey colored. It's the color of honey. And that's a perfect sample size right to the whitest part of the bulb. It's literally perfect. I wasn't in the mood for something mega heavy anyways. This looks like it's a, a really nice golden honey color. A light amber. Oh wow, the nose is quite floral. Um, lavender. Like honey and lavender come to mind. There's a um, wonderful creamery near me that they make all of their ice cream right there in house, and uh, it's out. It's literally out in the middle of the country, around surrounded by dairy farms. So they source the dairy from the surrounding farms. It's literally a community of dairy farmers, and then make their own ice cream. And my absolute number one favorite flavor of ice cream they have there is honey lavender. And as soon as I smell this, I think honey lavender. And there's even like a bright, like a yellow fruit, like a bright yellow fruit, maybe like a um, apricot or, or melon, something like that, you know, a, a really yellow fleshy fruit. But that honey lavender note is quite prevalent, but let's go in on it. It's, it's got that floral, but also a little bit of that spice up front. Very sweet. The finish, I kid you not, is entirely honey. It just tastes like honey on the. There's no oak at all. Like I expect, usually you get some lingering oak in the finish, but on the first sip, that finish is 100% entirely honey. I'm just realizing I should probably address this. There's like a giant like cage behind. Me. Well, not a cage. It's like a playpen. Um, we got a puppy, Luna, and she's fantastic. She's literally the easiest puppy I've ever had. In my life, she's so easy. Such a chill dog. Uh, full bred chocolate lab. I love her to death already. But she spends some time with me here in my office uh, while I'm working during the day sometimes. And uh, and so she's in that playpen. So she doesn't, there's a lot of cables and there's whiskey I don't think she needs to get into. So anyways, uh, that's why that's there. <laughs> I should probably explain that away. Anyways, yeah, a little bit of that white peppercorn up front. Definitely floral. But that finish is so sweet, like honey, like nectar, you know? That's a delightful, absolutely delightful finish. I'm surprised because it has this combination of, of, it tastes like rye that's mellowed out. You know, young rye is spice. You know, it's spicy. But ryes that age for longer tend to mellow out and you get more of those yellow fruit notes. And even sometimes a little bit of like orange zest and citrus. 
But um, this has the flavors of a well mellowed out, like mature rye. But it doesn't have that oakiness that comes from sitting in a barrel for so many years. You know what I mean? I like that quite a bit. Like, I really like that. Now, since that finish is all sweet, I'm going to say this. I'm going to guess, just on the flavor profile alone, that this is either a rye or a high rye mash bill bourbon. I don't, I don't get a lot of barley influence there. The predominant flavors are mostly rye, but there is enough sweetness on the back end that there, I think there's a chance this could be a high rye bourbon. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it's either a rye or high rye mash bill bourbon. I'm going to guess that the age on it is six to seven years. And I'm going to guess that the proof, maybe 115-ish, somewhere around there. That's what I'm going to guess. That's what I'm going to guess. Let's see what it is. Really? I did not expect that. That is a 1792 full proof. So it's 125 proof. What did I say? I said uh, 115. I was 10. I was I undershot it by 10, which isn't huge, but still, it's 10. Uh, it is. That's not a rye. That is a high rye. Well, they it's marketed as high rye, but I don't think. Do they even disclose the full mash bill of 1792? Last I knew, that wasn't like disclosed, but it is marketed as high rye. So I don't know. Some people differ on what they think is high rye. Some people are like 15% rye is high rye. I don't think that's high rye. I would say at least 25% or more in order to be called high rye. But what is the age? What's the age on that? 1792 full proof age. 1792 full proof is aged in American white oak barrels for anywhere to seven to eight years. Yeah. What did I say? I said six to seven. So I was pretty close. I was pretty close in that regard. I know I said it could be either a bourbon that's high rye or a rye, but I am, I'm going to, I'll be honest. I think I'm a little bit surprised that that's not a rye because I think most of what I get on the palate is that rye influence. But I guess that just kind of goes to show how powerful rye can be in a mash bill. And when it's mixed with corn, like corn is very sweet. You get a lot of those, uh, you know, the vanilla, sweet caramel, and stewed corn with uh, corn in the mash bill. But rye is a lot more dominant flavors, so that could be why I'm getting more rye on the palate than, than corn. I'm going to be honest, though. I think that is delicious. Like, okay, so if I'm going to rate this, if I'm going to rate this, I think I'm going to rate this around a, um, I'm going to give that a 7.8. That's like bordering into that fantastic range. You know what I'm saying? It's bordering into that. But um, I just think that is a super well-executed high rye mash bill bourbon because the flavor profile, I think, is just... It takes you on this really nice journey from that peppercorn up front, a little bit of those floral notes, and then it transitions into this really soft honey. And I'm a sucker for those flavors. I'm a huge sucker for them. And that lavender note on the nose, phenomenal. So thank you so much, Matt. I am so happy to have this. This is delicious. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. Again, if you're interested in sending a sample my way, you are more than welcome to do so. Um, so just go ahead and join the Patreon. We've got, um, uh, the, I think the base tier is just five bucks. I'm working on, it's on my list of things to do is to expand the categories um, because right now it's just like there's a there's a small one and a big one, and I'd like to have some stuff in between too and work on being more active with the Patreon as well and maybe uh, creating a Discord group where we can talk about whiskey, what we're drinking, and share some of that as well, our photos, all that business. I think that would be really fun. So hopefully when things die down with my other channel, it's like really, really busy right now. I've got a lot of like sponsored ads I got to do. It's a new season in Destiny, so there's just a lot of stuff to do. So once I get over that hump, we get into all of that. But anyways, if you want to send me a sample, uh, go ahead and join the Patreon. It's in the description and the pinned comment. And I would love to see you over there. And I would love to try some more stuff from y'all blind. Thanks so much for your support and for your viewership. Leave a like on the video only if you enjoyed it. And feel free to subscribe for additional whiskey content. Cheers. May you get better with age. And may you live richly, my friends. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.